And we're live for the final day of the sale. Thank God I can get some sleep after this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are at the Aerospace Intergalactic, oh, the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo at uh, Lawville. And Algri just turned into a drag queen. But that's fine. Uh, I did not turn into a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just out to find uh, a few today. Look at that shirt. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, yeah, so this is the mishmash day, or what do they call it? The manufacturer's spotlight. So we've got a little bit of everyone. We've got Consolidated Outland, Kruger, Grey Cat that wasn't even advertised, uh, Tumbrel, and did I miss Kruger? Uh, Kruger. Oh, and uh, 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 what is it? Argo Org Organonics or Ast yeah. Astronautics. Astro Organonics or whatever they call it. Yeah, so I think we'll go straight into it today. We're on the clock because these boys have things to do today right so first up grey cat. the I, oh you want to do the grey cat first i was gonna do the argo then we'll I'll do, go the, do the argo oh no, we'll right. do the grey cat the let's do the grey cat let's all do right. the argo let's all do right. them all yeah we are gonna do them all just the, the order we're gonna do them the grey cat being on sale for 15 dollars standalone is the win of the entire <laughs> iae <laughs> As far as I'm it's concerned, it's been fifteen dollars for the entire time. The people time. have spoken, no, I, and Chris I, I Roberts think, is. Li I think originally it was twenty, wasn't it? No, I, I got my first one for five, uh, for free, and then I got another one for five, and then I got another one for free. I've got so I got the first one we were given because they were they wanted to test out the hanger and stuff. The second one I got uh, because they first introduced them, they were only five, and then the third one I got because I got like um, five referrals or whatever. So I've got three of them. Yeah, I don't. I can't remember how many I've got. But it was really funny because uh, what they said in the video today is absolutely true. They were just designed because the hangers got too big, but That's they right. were really fun it, to drive around. There's like a little obstacle it used to, course in the and, hangar, and they put an obstacle course in the old hangar, so you know you could race around and do that. It used to take me if I was walking down my hangar. In fact, if I'm running down my hangar, it used to take me like 10, 15 minutes, which was annoying. Especially if you wanted to get to the weapons firing range, which is at the far end. I'm, well. I'm actually surprised they don't have all five or six versions here because they really need to fill up these holes because there's a whole beep, uh, different version. You yeah, they could have had the, the, the military, and the and the military and the, that's right, the half a dozen different skins. But um, it's good to see it actually makes it, it's going to actually make it into the game now. I'd like to see it used more often in cities. I hope they allow for it like they did in Art Corp. So, yeah. moving on. Argo. The problem, though, the problem with Art Court was is that people just smashed it into everything. Yeah, it's still funny. You got to live. A little and bit. if if the Argo, if the, sorry, if the Grey Cat is your little utility vehicle for in the cities, the Argo is your utility vehicle for space, and it's a gorgeous little craft. Yeah. So two versions. Uh, we have a cargo variant, which you can see you can get in. Fortunately, you can't get inside the um, the other one, which is just a troop transporter life potty type thing. Um, yeah, I think originally the the okay. pod of the part the passenger cargo uh, used the life pod from a the eight man life pod from the javelin, mm. and if you had a javelin that you got that one. Yeah. I really like and the look you... of this ship, and I hope um, they do put some of the other variants in they mentioned during concept. There's one you were mentioning earlier about with a, a giant arm for towing. And no, it wasn't a giant arm. It was a utility arm for being able to repair. And oh, all of the one, yeah. originally had the arm on top. Yeah, I think um, they probably, they, I think they probably think that that uh, it's probably going to stand on the crucible a little bit. So I think I think that yeah, might I be think why it's been removed. I think it might get removed. It certainly didn't make it past the original. And when it first came out, they said, "Oh, we didn't get time to get the arm working, so it's not there." And the cargo, Systems cargo, or the cargo, Systems cargo. Alert. Um, is the um, one that comes with the address. Yeah. Well, let's move on. Short and sweet. Now, the probably the most interesting thing for me today is actually seeing all the Tumbrel Cyclones in one location. Um, and I've never seen some of these in-game before just because there are so many different variants and most people haven't applied their upgrades. The most common one you see is just the just the standard cyclone, which is this one here, which is kind of the, I guess you'd call it the white one compared to the other colors. Um, we got a racing one, which basically, it, it's, they're all just like different ship mechanics. So the racing one has an afterburner, so to speak. Mm -hmm. The uh, AA one basically can lock on and shoot missiles, just like a ship. The 
the scout or the RN can scan just like, like ships can scan. Um, and yeah, the turret, well, that kind of speaks for itself. It shoots like a ship. Um, yeah, so they're I think all. This is going to be one of the most fun things to do in the game is to get in this turret and get, just drive around and shoot things. And... You can actually get in the turret right now. You just yeah, I, I could see it also being a, a, a thing that's done to group people, you know, just racing around shooting things up. Shooting I, I want to see like a Mad Max style race where everyone's on turrets and you're just doing like it's like laps <laughs> and you're just trying to take out the competition. So, yeah. yeah, well, that's basically what scramble races are, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit like that. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So I've I, I've seen this one in game, and I've seen the racer in game, and I've seen the normal one, but I hadn't even seen the other two today. Uh, so could, yeah, I'm... could you um, if you're doing that Mad Max race, uh, get into the AA one and fire at an an EM, EMP missile at one of the other competitors? <laughs> Don't know. I, I haven't actually seen someone try and lock onto a, another vehicle. Um, that would be interesting. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm also still interested to see if the um, like when this was initially announced, they looked like they were modules, and they still do look mm. like modules, just that they have different paint jobs on them. So I'm actually eventually hoping that you can just have one cyclone, and then buy all the little modules to go in it, because I think that's how it should be. Personally, buying a whole new hull for just what is essentially a module. I I could see them being um, when you buy them, going to that after purchase store and. Put in the bits you want, whether it's a paint job, whether you, you know, whether you want the boost or whether you want the, and depending on what bit you get, will determine your price. But you won't be able to get them all, I imagine. But I could see them doing that with their variants. Yeah, because this is the cargo one, and you can see very clearly that all the modules just go in where the cargo is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think this is the funnest one of the, the funnest vehicle at the, or the funnest vehicle or ship at the moment personally i have a lot of fun when i drive these around in any planet so yeah all right uh the merlin we'll move on been in for a while archimedes due next year um i think it's got one of the best detailings on any ship like you can get really up close on this or you used to yep. be able to i so really like detail. the look of the merlin yeah, i like here. the way it's zippy but big Big issue with the Merlin is the fact that it's got no, it's got very limited boost, no scoop to recharge boost, mm -hmm. it's got no quantum. Mm -hmm. uh, so if it's launched from the, the uh, pony, the, it is, yeah. it's a coffin. Yeah. Um, well, you got you got to commit. I think I think you've got to kill what you're going after, and then get back in the Connie. And if you don't kill it, well, then see you later. You then the Connie yeah. says, <laughs> see you later. Yeah. <laughs> What's the latest we've heard Omega. about? Sorry? But, um, How, like, where's the progress on as far as docking and undocking? With the... Yeah, I think, well, the last we kind of heard, they're having a lot of issues trying to get ships to dock into the Idris. Um, yeah. And you saw... And I think that's in the related the, issue. Yeah, in the videos that we saw of um, when they had the two fights between the two Idrises, the Idrises were still a shit when the ships were landing in them. So... Um, I think, yeah, I, I'm interested to see what's going to happen. I think it'll have to be the Constellation is a, at a dead stop for this thing to dock. Um, and they'll both have to stay stationary until it's finished. But we'll, uh, yeah, wait and see. And on to the last of the last. But the other, the other thing with the, uh, the uh, uh, P-52 and the P-72 is they could actually make nice races. Mm. They might be a bit too slow, but... I think the Archimedes will be the better choice, but... We'll oh, well, it is it is billed as a racer rather than a snub fighter, so mm. I think the Archimedes will be better in that regard. Second most popular ship in the game, the Mustang Alpha. Alpha. It's, Just they're had growing on me. Yeah. yeah. You either love it or you hate it, or somewhere in between. I love the old one's aesthetics. I do like the look of the new one. I'm just really pissed that the wings don't. Yeah, do I'm, I'm rather do. sad that they land on wheels rather than um, I, I think the they, skids. I think they could have literally just put wheels on the end of these wings and it would have solved the whole issue of landing. I don't think they needed to make them fold up. I think the advantage of them folding up, though, is obviously you can pack more on a deck. Um, it also makes them as wide as an Aurora type of thing, so I think that was... Oh, they're already huge. Yeah, we I saw think, that the other day. I, I, think that's the I think that's why they fold up, though. They were concerned people would just not take them because they're too damn wide. Um, well, even even when it was loaded, even when we landed it next to the Arrow, and um, what was the other one we took out? 
Uh, and the Gladius the other yeah, day. Right. Gladi- right, the Gladius. It was um, <laughs> it was a giant compared to them. I was surprised, um, even with its wings folded up. I was surprised how big it was compared to those two. Yeah. Quick question is, uh, are we actually live? Did you guys, I never asked you guys to check. Can you guys quickly check for me? Yeah. Um, other than the Alpha, we've obviously got probably the next in the lineup would be the Beta. I don't know who he laid out we these We are ships. live, but we have the MISC uh, icon. Uh, for the... That was my stuff up. God damn it. And I, I don't... 12 think... people watching. I don't think I can change it midstream either. Oh, that is that is a stuff up on my part. Oh, well. And guys, welcome to the the stream that will soon be banned again. Yeah, probably. <laughs> printing the same thing again. Probably. If you had to pick one Mustang, which one would you pick? Um, I'd probably go with the Beta or the Omega. Um, um, I'm trying to change this on the fly, just so, so just bear with me. If I could only take one, and I'm looking at being, and I'm starting off, I'd probably go the Alpha, because it can do everything. It can do cargo, well it can't, that's the hard thing about the, um, the Mustangs, the Mustang compared to the, uh, the Aurora when you start, if you're starting off with those base starters. The Aurora, all Auroras have that little bunk, so you yeah. can always log out in that. They've all got the ability to take the cargo pod, whereas the Mustang, only the Alpha has a cargo pod. The Amiga has the extra engine. Um, the Beta take puts a life, the living quarters in instead of the cargo pod. Um, not sure what the military version does. I think it's got the missile racks and other things that block that pot as well. But I all do something that, that stuffs up that ability to have to do everything. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, trying to double check now. I think I just fixed everything. Yay. <laughs> On yay. the fly. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so beta down. Next after the beta, I guess, would be... No, my alphabet. De- Delta? Delta. Delta would be next. Delta. So, my only concern with the Delta is I'm not sure what it's giving up to gain. And what I mean by that, like, they all give up something in the back. This doesn't have anything in the back. So, no. I, I, I honestly think it should still have cargo. Or... It should. I would say it should still have cargo. Maybe it's the armor. They give it armor plating. Ah, uh, so it makes it heavier. Yeah, that, 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 that so is it's true. Heavier, so it can't maybe take the military cargo. military grade pod. components or something. Yeah, no, um, it's, definitely, it's... it's definitely got armor. He's correct. If you look on the outside, you can see that um, that it, it's almost the same pattern that's on the Avenger now. You know? And and it's also got the two dumbfire missile pods, which I think have yep. a crap load of, of missiles that... Oh yeah. Can can you, I can't actually. Can you actually point them out to me where they are on the wings? Because I can't spot them. Yep. I've been, okay. On the old one, you used to be able to spot them. Oh, that. See, the, see those big square things? Yeah. That, the, this thing. Is that it there? Right in front of me. Yes. Rockets. Yeah. So this is a little pod. So they're technically just a gun. So I think really what you're paying for here is the armor on the Delta. Mm. Yep. And they just yeah they just fire a solid little. And finally, um, the Gamma, the Racer. And as you can see, if we go out the back here, just to give a comparison to the Delta we just looked at, it's got an extra engine in the back. So it goes... Now, originally, up. when they first um, introduced this one in racing, you didn't... It still only had the two engines, but you could buy or equip a third engine in there. So you could take an engine off another Mustang and put it in. Um, but now they've actually got it with the extra engine there. Um, we were talking, um, talking about before the show too, um, like on the Aegis Day, they showed the Raven in game for people to rent. I'm actually really surprised the Amiga is not here for people to rent as well. Which Or at least here so you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, it could have been the deal that they had with AMD was, was different from the deal they had with Intel. Mm. It's essentially the same as the Gamma, right? Just different skin. Yeah, that, that changes the law when they created it. The original the law was that um, about the, the AMD 
mob came along and they, they basically took the took the gamma and created their own race ship and by adding an additional fuel scoop so it had the fuel scoop at the top and a fuel scoop down the bottom which enabled it to basically stay in permanent boost boost mode when you were racing um i also like the look the color the deep red of the the amiga me too it's my favorite looking one i guess um, we should move on to ships that are not here in game yet so that's pretty much all the all... crusader yeah i was just about to say oh. that. <clears throat> um all the crusader ones and anything else Come pioneer oh the pioneer yeah uh man that thing sold out quick again today because they just they're, they're not doing waves which is kind of disappointing yep. um but no good to show it's still a popular ship a year on um mm -hmm. so yeah i i'm not sure how useful it'll be i'm not sure especially when you consider the a2 bomber which will come in and I found that very funny today when they were mentioning um, ships and he mentioned the M2 as the bomber and you see the photos and whoever's added the photos almost looks confused about what he's talking about because to <laughs> Toast goes M2, you can change the well, bombs well, and in then fairness, it that was, the A2. Yeah. In fairness, that was Toast. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, he's not, he's not the developer, he's their paralegal guy. Started off as an ordinary backer like us. Yeah. You know, he's not building the ships, he's just enjoying them. So, yeah, oh, oh, we'll give him, we'll give him a, a pass. I, I, now, correct me if I was wrong. I thought the bomber was like 800 bucks. Am I wrong in that? It, almost. Uh, I think it's like 700 something. Well, when I was looking today, it was only 660. Which I would well, have to double that's, check. That's for the extra 10%. So it was only $600. But I could have been, I could be completely wrong on that. But um, You must be completely wrong because uh, I couldn't see them. I think the, the C2 is 360. The M2 is 480. And the uh, A2 is, I thought it was 700 or 700. I'd have to, I'd have to. So, give me a second, I'll take from, from the display today and excluding the arrow, what do you think is the best display? The Drake. I love the Tumblr. Oh, you mean today or is in, yeah. in the yeah. whole? In, in, in the, in the, manuf in the multi-manufacturers just you know, the multi manufacturers who's got, the who's got the best out of the multi manufacturers i love that off-road display they have over there with the yeah yeah that's pretty good it's oh, not I'm very cool. accurate because if you hit a rock like that you'd lose a tire <laughs> but it looks yeah I, i'm i'm torn between the um yeah, yeah so and the, they and the do they do have the a2 hercules warborn anniversary at 660 and that's my australian tax so that'll take it back to 600. yeah well that that's cheap as shit they've, they've reduced the price by a shit ton they obviously sold hardly any but yeah i realized you know, does that mean that does that mean that oh people just melt it but the thing is when you melt it it goes up to 700 dollars. so those people that actually brought that bomber at the original price man i'd be fuming yeah Okay. Yeah, I'd be fuming Absolutely if fuming. I bought it. Yeah, well, we said it was a piece of. Yeah, it was definitely overpriced. Um, overpriced and a piece of beep. Yeah, I think I think I really stuffed up the live stream today, guys, because we don't have many people in chat. I think I stuffed up, but that's all right. We'll just push on. Um, is there anything else you guys want to add? Because I think we're pretty much ready to wrap up. Other than. Over it. Are there yeah. any questions? I actually don't have a live stream up. Scream, the live, uh, the live stream up. Listen, so I... the only person yeah, that's made any chat message at all was Rick, and he was talking about the uh, Merlin docking animations. So the yeah, other ships... It's worth knowing that today is the last day of the free fly and the IAE event, but you could still do the anniversary sale uh, ship purchases and CCUs for the next four days. Yep. And the... I'm expecting the Arrow and the... San Tokia. Uh, to be available for purchase with LTI for the next month, which they usually do with concept ships. All right, so I'm sorry. have done, which they have done with concept ships so far this year. All right, so I'm just going to go through the ships that are not here because we've missed a few. The tank, Nova Tank, Temporal, yep. Temporal Nova Tank is not here. Mm -hmm. um, the Mercury Star Runner, we talked a lot about that this year. I think that's a great ship for its price. You know, no and way. I think it's going to grow. Um, the All the Hercules that we kind of briefly mentioned, 
the Crusader Genesis Starliner is the other one. So there, we've now mentioned all of them. Um, Genesis Starliner, what do, you, what do you guys take on that? Like, what what, uh, what, do, you, what do you think of it? Because I think it's in a really weird place. It's a... I need to see a lot more information about it. I didn't really... It didn't appeal to me based on what I've seen so far. I primarily sold it as a passenger transport it or really... alternately a car. It reminds me of the luxury ships, as in you're transporting a VIP, yeah. except you're just transporting heaps of well, people. Well, depends on the version you got. And crying babies. So I don't want to go anywhere near it, personally. Um, it was interesting. There was one thing that I... Bloody NPC. <laughs> it's pushing you. That's right. And you can't push them back. Yep. The cheek. <laughs> Arrogant snot. You need a slap feature so you can just, like, backhand them and they, like, slide backwards or something. Yeah, I know. It's so, so annoying. Um, the, when they were doing the... Uh, there was one... Oh, I can't remember which ship it was. But they were talking about the uh, building large ships like... Um, you know, building this ship will enable us to build other big ships like the Starliner. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so, well, that, that'd that be just building Crusader Industries and getting that yeah. that part. So I think it was when they were doing the um, the last Crusader ship, and they said, mm. you know, building a large ship like this enables us to build big ships like... And I thought that was pretty pretty Ooh, well. My screen just went black. My screen so just went black. I think the no, server just crashed. I just think the server, just, the server has just crashed. Yay. <laughs> we broke the server. Yeah. We broke the server. It's this server has been so buggy. I don't know um, what you guys have had like in game, but we've had this issue that the last few days when we spawn in beds, we're actually stuck in the bed, and the only way to get out is to like prone and crawl off the bed. So, I'll, I'll be honest, I haven't had that problem yeah. at all. The only problem I've had was with the lift this morning, where it was invisible, and so if you opened it and walked inside, you fell to your death. Um, but I found if I just kept pressing the button, eventually it spawned for room, and then you could just go in. Hey, Algrid, take us to the Million Mile High Club. Okay. Or can I just... I'm just going to go there. Because <laughs> I'm in your group, so I can go there now. Yeah, I'm going too. Have oh, I sounded sick? No, my voice has never really came back, me. So I, um... <clears throat> I think it's damaged my vocal cords because um, I laugh now and I laugh like a little schoolgirl. It's I go, <laughs> oh, well, you're no lo you're no longer a no name. You're execute. Yeah, so cool. All right, so Agrid's got access to the Mile High Club. That should tell some people some stuff. Um, yeah. He's... So this is a rarity now. You can't. You know, many people, people got access to this. What the hell? There's two bartenders. Yeah, but I haven't decided which one they want. Personally, I preferred the one who was at least dressed formally. Neither of them are dressed formally. That's the problem. I know. T pose. Got rid of that guy. Yeah. So when we took that my, photo of and Algrid's, the fish is gone. what was it? Was it this desk or this desk? We took a photo uh, of one of these desks, and Algrid's. That's what Algrid uses for his shot. This one, I think. It. Yeah. So it makes him look like he's sitting in in this chair. When we um. Yeah, I can put my arm up. Yeah. But the fish are gone. Yep. Someone stole the fish. Too much chlorine. And, Too much chlorine. Yeah. And I, I've got. To, and I, well, you know, it's obviously the, this version is Terra because it's got a Terra Terra landscape on the on yeah. the wall there. Horrible city. Mm. I think I'll spray paint that white when I'm done. Very extravagant uh, lampshade though, and I think yeah, the, globe the lampshade is, is extravagant. The globe I is is a globe Terra as well. I okay. think so. I think it's a the globe. I think the globe's Terra, and I think around it are kind of the moons of Terra. I think that's what the other arms are supposed to indicate. Uh, but I could be wrong. It could be a load of cod's wallet. Lee SC is mentioning in chat that they now have insurance on the grey cat because of the way they're selling it. I think that's quite funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't mean the other grey cats don't have insurance. Eh, it'll be interesting to find out. But you know, we keep saying... And, uh, and apparently this, this door will eventually open and go somewhere, but who knows. And, which yeah, door? Apparently there's a door there, which I once uh, said would open and go somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, where do you reckon the drinks come from? It's the storeroom, our grid. Drinks? Uh, something interesting I found today, too, speaking of doors, when we were in Tamity 
uh, because we're going to Tamadi before the show to, to make sure the ships are spawned because of the bugs that we've been experiencing during the week. And there was a door at the back of Tamadi. And most doors, when you, you know, there's a little switch you can click. And it said, open, close, and override. I think it might possibly be a way to sneak around the customs area, um, potentially. But we'll have to wait and see. I suppose if you use the, uh, the fixing, you know, the little multi-tool, mm. you might be able to do it. But anyway, this is the um, the rather supposed really high market club mm. with scuffed, hasn't scuffed been, floor. Hasn't and... been worked on for a couple of years, though, has it? No, no. Um, and the floor's scuffed and the, the railings are scuffed and bolts yeah, are it's, showing. It's, and... got, uh, it's got feeling, dude. It's got feeling. It's been worked on. Wood, wood would be at a premium in the future. It's one of the most expensive things you can get these days. Right. It's, this is this is real trees, dude. This is imported from Earth. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, we we grew it. We grew it. We we bulldozed Terran Terran Forest to build this. Um. Any thoughts? Oh, this is from Moose Beard. Any thoughts on the Miss Starfarer Miss? Miss Starfarer. I'm really confused, but it's it's the Starfarer as a solo shipper. Too costly with missile play. I would say you would either be strictly in safe space, but almost any utility ship is always going to need an escort, um, just for safety reasons. Because if someone comes after you, it's you're going to be going into running mode otherwise. Um, but if you were with a bunch of other starfarers or other utility ships, it if you're a bunch of if you're for a bunch of other utility ships. Mm. It's like uh, running from the bear. You've just got to run faster than the other guy. And, and any any ship yeah. can technically be soloed. It's just how long it takes you to do it because you have to get up and move between the different consoles. Mm -hmm. So if, if the Starfarer... I'm not saying that you should stand and fight, but if you had a Starfarer Gemini, that top turret is no... Yeah, yeah that, just... that top turret. Even on Gemini, those back turrets are pretty good too. Yeah. The, uh, um... We don't know the gameplay though on the Starfarer yet, so you might have to someone that drives... And controls the scoop as in, you know, steers it. And then you might need someone at the back running the refinery at the same time. Uh, it is not known at this time what that gameplay is. So I can't call it as a solo ship. And, and oh, I do be... think also that the advan it'll have an advantage in terms of gathering fuel because it's got the, the six or so different fuel tanks. So you'll be able to store. Well, his question was solo. So I can't yeah. recommend any ship at the moment that has... That is not touted as a solo ship because the gameplay might require a minimum of two people and therefore you know because if you need someone to fly and someone to refine you oh he's saying that. he meant the freelancer miss not the starfarer oh as a solo yeah that'd be totally fine yeah it's a gunboat man i i call them the freelancer miss the misery for, for exactly that reason um it's yeah, just got it's a shit ton of lots of people. Yeah, it's it's just a gun. It's that's a missile gunboat, um, and I think you'll probably be able to run most people out of flares. Um, yeah, but um, I think I, missiles are going to go way up in quality after the flight model changes as well. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. And I, I, the other one that is comparable to the missile gunboat is the is the Connie. Yep, the Connie Andromeda, and I think that's probably the the better Connie of a lot at the moment. Yeah, oh, the MG not sure about the Taurus because can't gauge what its cargo capacity is yeah. like. I think you can safely say that they're the two best Connies at the moment, the Andromeda and the Taurus. I think the Taurus, once it comes out, um, as a cargo it, vessel, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna kind of show us where the where where the other freelancers sit. Actually, funnily enough, because of the cargo and all that. Hmm. Um, that said, though, I'd say of the freelancers, my favourite is the Dur, and I'll leave it at that. <coughs> Yeah, that, that is a concern we actually had Moosebeard way back when I was doing Star Signal when we when the misery was first announced. Is the cost of missiles like it like is the cost of the misery going to be that you're just buying a shit ton of missiles at a really high expense? Especially when back then, like if you bought a missile for the Retaliator. Mm, yeah, yeah, that is exactly. Right. Yeah, it was it was a it was 90, to buy the missiles for a Retaliator. It was the cost of a. Uh, in real term, in real money terms, it was basically the cost of an Aurora. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's insane. That's crazy. Um, yeah, the um, the misery though would be also if you like put it into a combat fleet, 
would be amazing because like say you've got a couple of fighters out there and they're dog fighting and the one that's the enemy you can just target and help your mate out um and i i i, I see it as like a, a kind of supporty missile gunboat um and it, it's still quite maneuverable, the little fr freelancer, for a ship of its size. Um, you'll still be able to carry cargo, but I imagine most of the cargo that that ship will be carrying will be missiles. You'll just have a shit ton of missiles, and, and, and you might even have... And spares. Well, you'd probably have maybe three people on board. <laughs> you'll have a, a person at the back that's loading the missiles, and then probably two people up the front or some version of that. Yeah, so I'm refilling the auto loader. Yep. Pretty much. So there's a guy just constantly putting missiles in, and you could probably limit it to two, one driver and that. But then you almost want you want a third person that might move around. Maybe he's on the turret. Maybe he's on the, you know, um, running running the repairs. shields or repairs. Yeah. So he, you know, yeah. Um, it's an interesting. I, I am probably most interested for the freelancer and Taurus of the ships. That's what I was looking forward to seeing this year. Just the different variants, but they've all been pushed back. Hmm. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, if there's not any more questions, I think we're going to wrap up for today. Um, was the Mile Hard Cub a referral award or a concierge, a concierge level reward or both? I'll let Algren answer that one. I think it was a special pack, wasn't it, Algren? It was originally sold in the Wing Commander and, uh, completionist packs. And so, uh, and in 2014, when they went to digital, they told us there were any... 50 more available and they put them in those packs and then they said once they're gone that's it yeah and i i do um, remember at the time there was a scramble for people to get them too i have i have a yeah. couple of friends that deliberately went and bought packs just to get them to get it um they became a referral reward after the lunchtime reverse of us when ben made a throwaway comment like they always made at both things mm. oh i'll get 1042 and we'll give you one and then people started saying, oh, you promised, you promised. And uh, CIG decided. I, I think every yeah. promise at this point has pretty much been broken. Because um, um, if you want to go back to the ultimate promise, um, back at Kickstarter, there will be no exclusive rewards ever. And there has been well, multiple I exclusive rewards think, out the right wise at this point. I personally don't think the Lemoir High Club has ever really been at an exclusive report. Broad. I know there are people who think it well, should the, be. Well, there, yeah, there was a limited amount of them is what I'm saying. So it yep. makes it exclusive. That's all I was trying to say. But I'm not well, just talking... it makes it more exclusive. I'm not just talking about this, though. There was things like yeah. um, the Amiga, the Sabre Raven, um, well, they, just to name a few. They were... The, they're technically they're exclusive. One, because they were promotions with, with yeah. other but companies. Te so. Technically, they're exclusive. And I, uh, I think it's... Um, like if you go on to other things as well, like um, you, you could you could twist it many ways. So I would I would say the it. only really exclusive thing besides the, the Raven and the Amiga is actually the the Scythe. Yes, that that, um, that caused, a, caused a lot of controversy back because it is they've only sold it once they <laughs> haven't sold it again. I really wish I'd brought one. I actually had an opportunity to buy it. And I went, no, oh, that's too expensive. And now the ship's up to like $2,000. It's, oh. it's insane. I wish I'd put five of them. I'd be, I'd, I would have paid for all the ships I wanted. To I, I, I wish I wish I had um, the one I had. I wish it was giftable. Yeah. Um, yeah, because then you could sell and make a bunch of cash. Um, there's other, there's so many things along the way. Our grid and I will tell you that we wish we'd done. Like our grid's got um, that, like, like during the week when it, we... You know the uh, the one for the veterans, the skin for the super hornet, the hornet. Do you know what I'm, you know the one I'm talking about? The SNA. Yeah. yeah, like that was like eight around eighteen twenty dollars when it came out, and now it's worth like the last time I saw it was like four years ago, and it was one hundred twenty bucks. That thing yeah. would be worth a shitload right now. That's probably yeah. and, and the CIG, biggest for the smallest amount I've seen. And CIG have, have avoided selling that again because when they originally sold it, it was twenty US dollars back then. Australia's currency was actually better than us so yeah. it was 18 dollars for us but it was controversial because it was only for americans and it was a global game so well, when they were giving giving money it was, to american veterans a lot of people were annoyed that it wasn't like a worldwide veterans thing yeah and i can see i can uh, see that and, and they did it on america they did it on they did it as a sale for veterans day to yep. help uh, uh the veterans association yeah um 
and that's well and good. Uh, mm. But for people in Australia, uh, Veterans Day in the States is Armistice Day, the 11th of mm. the 11th. Mm. Um, and so, I'm, you know, I know Australians would have yeah. liked it to be in uh, supporting... Um, yeah. I, 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 just, I, I actually think they should just basically like make it a global veterans thing and basically just distribute the funds whatever country it comes from it goes to that country's veterans association that would have been yeah. the easiest way to fix it and i actually think they should do it again i really do um i i think, I, I think they handle it poorly but we know that cig does handle some stuff poorly yeah um, but the reason the reason i don't think i don't think they will sell it again because of what happened to it and i think in a sense Selling it again would actually undermine what happened to it, and that was people bought bundles and then sold them for a profit. But then it becomes, yeah, well, that, but that's the other thing. It, it it also removes it from the black market. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're, we're um, seeing we're seeing that this year actually. Like even yesterday with the um, the one I'm thinking of particularly is the master set. That thing has been extorted to shit on the black market. First time ever it comes out and they've just they raised the price by a hundred bucks and that allowed them to put LTI on it. So that basically means that thing's just gonna go off the black market completely. And if yeah. they bring that out every year now, it, it'll it'll the black market for it will just die. And and the increase in price on that master set isn't really an increase. Well, you I, I still haven't confirmed on the old one. I need to go look, but what I think you're about to talk about is the second biodome, is that correct? Yep. I yeah. can I can guarantee you this right. the, well, there you go. That, that, that does that, not have the second biodome. Well, there you go then. So and it was nine hundred and it was nine hundred dollars. Yeah. So basically, what's changed between the old and new is the second biodome, and it's worth. It added the second biodome, yeah. which which if you bought it normally, it cost you a hundred dollars. Yeah. So they've added the second biodome in. So you literally get everything by a hundred dollars. They haven't changed anything. Yeah. So that's that's quite good, and I um was very tempted to buy it. Well, it was tempting. also it was also available in credit, so you didn't actually have to do war bond to get it. Yeah, but mm -hmm. but I came yeah, back I to grab the, one for both. I came back to the conclusion though that um, it was it was too much like buying a bunch of fighters. That's why I ended up not getting it in the end. I'll just earn them all in game, and there's obviously going to be ones in that bundle that I don't want, um, and it's enough for like more than three ships. Or three yep. endeavors, and I've only got one endeavor, and I didn't want a second endeavor. Uh, so yeah, um, Moose writes uh, future topic for you guys: best single player ship and best NPC sh NPC ship. Well, I can answer the NPC ship one straight away. That's the hammerhead. Um, yeah, single, chuck them all in the turrets. Single player ship. Uh, that's going to come down to play stuff. Well, if I if I if I, like. if I can't if I'm playing a hammerhead with just NPCs and. <laughs> Well. <laughs> <laughs> two for one special there moves. um yeah like that really comes down to what gameplay you're into and that's yep. that's one of the things like, we yeah if you're yesterday. if you're into doing mining then the single player ship is either going to be the you know you're either going to try and do the orion or you're going to do the prospector but if you you hate mining why would you take one of those yeah, regardless and, of how good it is for a single player. And obviously, there's a middle mining ship coming as well. So I still mm. think that I still think like what Hayes always says: the middle ones are going to be the best all rounders. Uh, yeah. What does that say? No, I'm just trying to read chat. No best one player Olus only one NPC companion. I'm a bit confused. I, yeah, I'm not sure. I what speak you mean bad English, English, but that's like horrific English, so I can't. <laughs> I think I think he means best one player plus only one NPC can. Well, again, he, he's trying. He's trying to make me bail out of the uh, hammerhead comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, look, it really comes down to gameplay, and at the moment, we just don't have yep. any gameplay, and it's the same thing when uh, we were talking about the um, your question before about um. Um, being able to do multiple roles in the staff area, well, you turns out it was the wrong thing, but it's the same thing again. We just need to see what the gameplay is, and I'm praying to God we see more gameplay than we've ever seen before next year. Like we've been promised the staff area and the salvage, um, and we've also got more advanced cargo. So, but, if, but even when those... you're looking at that, that single player ship, um, the key question is it depends on what the player wants to do, like. Yeah, that's what I don't really have an interest in in doing fighting, but I know some of my mates have love fighting. They love, you know, and for them, yeah. the best single player ship is going to be a fighter of some form. Uh, for me, I like I like the idea of being, you know, doing the 
doing salvage or repair or doing mining. And so for me, it'll be something along those lines. Um, oh, now he's explaining further, as in if you have two game packages. 3.5 and 3.6 are going to be the the gameplay mm -hmm. uh, patches. And we don't know what's coming after that. I think we're probably right after the sale is done. We should probably see 3.7 post to the road. Well, and in terms of his question about if you've got two game packages again, like I've got game packages coming out my way as well, and my answer is still exactly the same. Depends on what you want to do in game yeah. and how you want to do it. Like yesterday when we were talking about all this, it's just a wait and see. Mm. All right. I think we'll wrap it up there. Um, being the last day of the sale, we're going to do another show, but it'll be a normal recorded show that kind That's of right. just so wraps we, we, everything. We decided to come here and raise a glass to the... Um, so uh, well, as I was saying, we're going to do a show and it's going to wrap the whole sale up and it'll uh, give all our best recommendations and stuff like that. So yeah, that that that's something we talked about yesterday and um, I know Dyson's very keen to do one. So we'll get three of us together, maybe four, I don't know. And... Get the whole panel, meet, meet in the salubrious um, club and raise a glass and Oh, no, we're not going to do it in game. We're going to do a recorded one. Like, oh, like, like with the cameras. Yeah, like the old ones. Boring. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. Anyway. That's been our grid. That's been Osiris. I've been Execute. And, and we'll we're out of here. Next time. Bye. See you Take guys. care and have fun.